two. We're back. Round two this week. We're on a roll. Um, give you guys a lowdown on this detective unit. This 2022 PPV, some of you guys were asking about. Uh, it's a wheel and core setup. It's a really basic setup, but it's sweet. It gets the job done. It's cost effective. Uh, I know saying wheeling and cost effective in the same sentence is rare, but uh, this one wasn't that, wasn't really that bad cost wise um, for the customer. So um, gets the job done, you know, it's got enough. I think it could use a little more uh, lighting to the side, but maybe we'll add some stuff in the future. Um, so 2022 PPV, we'll give you guys a rundown on this one and uh, appreciate the love. She is 2022 PPV, wheel and core setup. Huge FST up there in the windshield, dual color, red, white, blue, white. And the grills, we went with the T ions, sitting on some L brackets behind there. Smoked a little bit, dual color. Right now it's sitting in position three. You got your whites and your headlight flasher. The only side lighting we're gonna have on this rig is the dual color strip light in the rear quarter panel window. Let me take it out of three. We'll slow it down a little bit. This is going into position two. I'll give you guys an update on that console in just a second. This is sitting in two. It's nice and subtle. Takes all the white out. No headlight flasher. Strip light slow down in the back. Factory PPV tail light flasher. Just whacking the brake lights, not the reverse. Wheeling RST stick in the back window. Red amber, blue amber. Make sure you guys into the hatch. T ions down below. Dual color red, blue, synced up. Could use maybe a mirror light. Maybe some tracers. Everyone's got their personal preference when it comes to these rigs. I'll show you guys the console now. Still got to be cleaned up, washed, ready for the customer to pick up. Troy, lower profile console. Big Wheeling Weekend X controller. Water roller radio. Got your mag mics, cup holders, radio speakers just behind the console there. Gamber Johnson computer dock. It's got a freestanding gun rack. Shotgun and AR. Down below under the driver's seat. Pre-wired for a modem they're gonna put in. The controller spec'd out the same as some of their patrols, um, so that's why you'll see some of them blank. So if you someone that's used to the patrols hops in here, um, some of the functions are going to be the same, but obviously they don't have all the functions as the patrols, so those will be blank. If they want to add stuff later on, they can. Um, let's see, we got the left and right cutoff. Whale, yo, here. You have your manual tone, air horn. DVI option. This is getting pretty popular lately. Some people hate it, some people love it. This customer opted to have it. Really nice and subtle. These will only do single color on a DVI mode. The strip lights in the back. DVI on the TLI 2s. The back hatch area. Show you guys the options for the takedown and the scene. Takedown, if you're in position or not in position, it'll just be those two inner light heads on the interior bar. If you're looking to do a full scene, since we use OBD, we were able to add the headlights on for scene. You'll have your full interior bar go white as well as the grill lights. And you'll have your cruise function. That right now we have it sit pretty low. So it's set about 10%. Super, super dim. 
Some customers like their crews to be at 100%, some 50%, some even lower. Obviously your arrow functions down below. It's got horn ring, part kill. So if you're in position three and you're in drive, so we're in drive here. You can activate the siren if you're in three by hitting the horn and changing the tone. And you'll have part kill, cuts off the siren. Badass detective setup. If you guys are looking for something similar, hit us up. We'd love to take care of you.